Yeah, they're they're actually like decently formed. All right, so we came to this creek. We've oh, been finding so all cool. larvals. Dane just found an adult male, and now we found Colton found eggs. And these are brown back salamander eggs. That's the rock I turned up and found this guy under. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, you can see them moving. So they they will mate guard. The males will stay with the eggs or females sometimes, and the, the male will guard the female, and they can uh, protect the eggs. I'm gonna trying to see back. if any of them move. That one did a minute ago. That one did a minute ago. Yeah. So this, it seems yeah, like a lot of them have already maybe hatched out. It's kind of late in the season. Mm -hmm. And there should this be a lot of This one's in the process of, oh, yeah. of hatching. This one's got a hole in him. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's cool. in the process of hatching. I'm about to say, because there's not a lot in there. Normally there's around 60 eggs. So most yeah, of these like have already hatched out. Yeah, it looks like there are some flattened out. To, yeah. yeah, there's definitely there's some, some flattened out shells there. So these have already started to hatch out. So they're in the process of hatching out. That's awesome. That one's moving around. They're so That's cute. so cool. They're so cute. These cool. Babies. It's the second egg mass I found. The other one was like a month and a half ago, and it was full. It was probably yeah, 50, Colton 60 found. eggs in it. <laughs> <laughs> Colton found it. I said there's one I found. Yeah. They had yeah. a lot more. Yeah, yeah Colton this found the this second one. one. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Yes. This is the second one I've seen. Oh, that one's trying to get out too. Colton found oh, it. Oh, oh, because Dane, see, that's the problem. Dane cares too much about who finds it. Hang on, if you do it like this. I'm going to laugh if this is the exact same spot that I got this guy from. Oh, don't put it back till Dane gets over there. See if it's the same spot. But, yeah, that's probably, this is probably the father of those eggs. I mean, they seem to kind of yeah, have a territory. Yeah, I, I, I caught the paid baby one, and I flipped another rock, and I saw the big one. I was like, oh, that's not the baby one down and go down. So these larval stages, they only... They're only in larval stage about a year, so they're going to start to all morph out into adults this time of the year. Probably another month or two, the, the only ones you'll find are itty-bitty little larval stages that hatched out. But cool, this is another, as far as I know, this is the farthest southeast brownbacks have been found. So that's kind of cool. All right, so this is a little baby Desmognathus, a dusky salamander. And these guys are cool when they're little. As you can see how transparent their skin is. You can see all their organs. Intestines, stomach, uh, maybe even the heart if we could zoom in better. But you can see the these salamanders have that slimy skin. I mean, not slimy, but there's moisture on their skin. And that actually allows them to adhere to different things. So not like a gecko. It has a special microvilli that uh, attach to the walls, but these guys just do it because of the adhesion of water. So they can actually use that to, to stick to stuff. He climbed out of the water and climbed up to the side. Let's see if we can get him to do it again. Yep. See, he just sticks. He sticks to it. Cool. Cute little guy or girl. And if you notice, these are really small, and they lose their gills really early. They morph out really small, whereas the brownbacks are much larger. Two times, three times the size is still larva stage. So we're out here at Katie's grandparents' house property. We came to look for striped necks. Then Colton saw a turtle in the water. It turned out to be a Graptomys pulchra, which is cool because they are not known to be in these smaller streams like this. So this is definitely a interesting find and you can see maybe she'll bring her head out so this species the females specialize on like hard-shelled organisms you can see all the clams in here her head is huge the females get much larger than the males and the females also get this extremely large head if she'll bring her there she goes you can see how big the head is just huge and she uses those powerful jaws and muscles to just crush everything that comes in her path snails mollusks crawfish like she's gonna she's gonna smash them so cool we found brownbacks and we got us a turtle today this is the first time i've ever found one, well seen one in the wild colt found it <laughs> here colt why don't you hold her yeah this is definitely my lifer oh wow look how big that this head is, is. yeah how's it feel colton pretty good this is a lifer first time finding one of these for any of us i did not expect us to get if you had said we were going to find a turtle, I would have said this would have been alligator snapper. This would have been the last one. <laughs> I just didn't think it would be in something sm this small. That's crazy. But, but that's why you uh, come and do field work because you never Sorry, know what you're going to find. We're going to let her go. 
Katie's gonna let her go. We're gonna watch her swim off. So she was eating, and Colton saw her. He saw her head down, crunching. So she was eating, and then we interrupted her. So we're gonna let her go, and see what she does. But you can see she blends in pretty well, especially over rocky areas. So this is a really small stream to find one of these in. At least as far as we know, they like the bigger water rivers. But very cool turtle. The head on those was huge. See how she's got her claws dug into the sand because the current's fairly strong here. That's keeping her from being washed downstream. So if we leave her alone, she'll probably just come back to eat. You can see how it's coming off of her back. That's kind of cool. Yeah. The aerodynamics of her body or whatever. So she's just dug in. She's not gonna move. <laughs> she's, just, she's, like, she's like, I'm done. I moved last time I got caught. All right. Y'all won't right. let me be. Oh, she goes. She's going to hide by that log. Yeah, she's going to run underneath that log. And that's how you find them a lot. You can't.